Welcome citizens to our new video. Today we are discussing new ship in the game. Hornet F7C MK2. Now, if you are confused like me about this ship, let's dive deep and find out what this all about is. So, if you go to website here, you can find FC7 Hornet MK1, FC7 Hornet Ghost MK1 and also F7CR Hornet Tracker MK1. So these are three different ships. And now suddenly there is a fourth one. FC7 Hornet MK2. So what is the difference between these ships? Well, the old Hornets are longer in game. These are the almost first ships that were introduced into the Star Citizen. And they are quite good. I cannot tell you details about them because I haven't used them so much time. I don't like their design. They, they look for me old ships like from today's century and yeah maybe upgraded with the quantum drive and shields. To me they are not appealing. They are much more nicer ship for me but everyone has what they like. And suddenly now they are introducing this other ship and this is F7 Hornet MK2. So, what is special about this ship? Well, there are two variants at the start. We have F7C Hornet MK2 and also we have F7A Hornet MK2. Now this complicates things even more. So, the first one is the civilian variant and the other one is special military variant. And this ship is as I'm seeing it right now, amazing. But we will come to that later. Let's go back to the civilian. So the civilian has two size one shield generators, two coolers, two batteries, standard, one power plant, one quantum drive, one SC. But the main difference is this, pilot controlled weapons, two time S4. There are only two pilot controlled weapons and they are two time S4. That of itself is amazing. Imagine a medium fighter with such a powerful weapons. But get this, there is a new Xeno threat or overdrive initiative, which is happening right now in Star Citizen. So if you play those missions, you can be rewarded with a free upgrade to this F7A Hornet MK2. So you buy this ship, and if you play these events, you get this ship, which is absolutely stunning. And here's why. Now, at first look, it's, less, it's the same thing. 2 time S1 shield, coolers, battery, quantum drive. But look at the pilot-controlled weapons. 2 time S4, 2 times size 3, and 2 times size 3. So you have 6 pilot-controlled weapons. This thing is, right now, better than Anvil FHC Lightning, which has only two size 3 and everything else, six weapons are size 2. Now, this may not be important right now, because there is not so much difference in a firepower from 2 to 3, but I think in the future, and when the master modes are in-game, this will be much greater difference. So. This ship is worth of money and I also like the design. Now let's take a look at the design on the website. We have some different paints. Let's stay with the factory standard F7C. So design is much more nicer, the rounder. It still has that known F7 Hornet design, but to me this looks much more appealing. It looks like a modern modern ship in a future that could be built for Navy. Then we have this special paint, iron scale. It's really, really nice paint. Then we have icebound. This one is the white one. And also we have factory standard F7A MK2. Now this is the paint that I really like. Basically this show him as a real war ship. As you can see here, the paint is amazing and really suits this ship. And we also have this paint which is some kind of desert paint. But to me, the most appealing paint and ship is, of course, this military variant, which will be 
amazing in the future if we manage to upgrade to it of course if we beat overdrive initiative so i think the cig made a very cunning but also genius strategical point they are selling you this but they are promising you this ship so you are going to buy that ship to get this ship am i right or am i wrong write down in the comments and also i want to know from you is this ship really better than Anvil FHC Lightning? Because this ship is a lot smaller, 22.5 meters, and yeah, it's really amazing. Also, I forgot to mention this one has a missile rack hardpoints 2x4, and the normal version has 2x3. It's not a big difference, but maybe we can put more size 3 missiles. Then this ship becomes even more powerful, this one. Is the F7A Hornet MK2, the military variant, in your opinion, better than Anvil F8C Lightning? I reckon the Anvil F8C Lightning is right now better, but in the future when the armor is introduced, I think F7A Hornet will be much better because it has two size 4 and four size 3 weapons, which is absolutely stunning. And this kind of firepower, well, it's unforgiving. Two time s1 shield is the only downside fac lightning has two size two shields hmm i'm thinking about stepping into f7a territory let me down your thoughts in the comments thank you for watching this video if you like it please comment share yeah what do you think about this and don't forget to subscribe and until next video have fun out there citizens